So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with another really quick, of course, of course, progress. Uh, talking about video. So yeah, of course we got our, of course, um, how to get, you know, or which unit you should get pretty much. Uh, which strip unit again? I do is every pretty much every single year. Videos are usually pretty short because I go into like intense detail on what like, you need to get again for newer players. This is always a number one, it's always a plus, it's always a W in my book, and stuff like that. I always recommend getting these, even if, like I said, you usually get five just from like logging in doing missions, just from like all the Tanabata stuff. Like you get one here, you get one here, that's two. Uh, the third one I think you get from Perunga Wishes, another one you can get from Perunga Wishes from the third week. First, we could the second, the first, very much these two you get from um. Just doing missions. First one you get in just from logging in, just doing this in, in this campaign for global. Uh, you get two from Perungo Wishes. I can't remember the last two you get five, six, seven. I know you get seven overall. I can't remember how to get the last two. I think it's just you had to do missions. I think just from doing like Tanabata stuff. So that's actually pretty simple and pretty easy, like I said. But yeah, um, I'm ready to get right into this video though, because there are actually some good useful units on here. Um, again, like I said, you just get some, like I said, logging in, doing missions. It tells you how to get everything, like just like I said, logging in. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, the second one. Oh, yeah, they just fly out and tell you how to get it. Okay, that's actually useful. That is awesome. Let me just do this really quick. Yeah, you get up to seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm highlighting this. Let me read over this really fast because I would like to read over this. You get up to seven. Um, it, it says six because it's the sixth time we got in this for global. Uh, yeah, you get the first one just from like logging in. Yeah, like I said, during the event period. The second one you get from like doing missions from part one. You get two of them from missions. Uh, the third one, it seems, yeah, part two will get you an extra one as well. So, yes, um, yeah, one, two, three, four. You know, one from Prune Gwish is five, six. Uh, yeah, like I said, yeah, first one you just get from logging in. The second one you get from part one missions. Then you get another one. The part two will give you another one. So, that's one, two, three, four. Uh, Prune gives you five, six. Um, Okay, yes. Yeah, part one gives you one. Okay, let me reread that. Part one gives you one. When you, when you log in for part one, you get one. Uh, for part one, you get one, two. Part two, you get um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from Barunga Wishes. So you get one, two from Barunga Wishes, three, four, from just from part two, five, six, then seven. So yeah, it's just throughout the whole entire celebration. You have literally until, I want to say, the 16th, that's a tw 11. Okay, yeah, 16th slash... I think it says, no, 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 they said it was the 22nd. So, yeah, you have until, like, pretty much, like I said, three weeks, pretty much. You have, like, a whole entire month, pretty much, and half to get this. But, yeah, isn't that hard to do? Okay, I had to figure that out. So, yeah, that wasn't that bad. But, yeah, like I said, you're doing the missions, logging in, Prunga wishes, et cetera, et cetera, though. So, yeah, got to go over and I'll go ahead and zoom in, though, just to see, like, what unit you should get. Because there's a lot of good units on here. Like, a lot of good units, if you're just starting out in the game, you can get are really well. But yeah, all these uh, have changed up a little bit from over the years. All these guys just suck now, cause just cause red zone and etc. So just the difficulty to game. Like, if you're doing like red zone super battle road, I have these units you're not gonna like really use anymore. Um, well, units are actually really really good in here though. Like you have some really good um units in here, some really good hidden gems. I'm not saying they're the best in the use in the game, but if you're just starting out these back in the day. Like, when this first came out, this was, like, one of the best things Doken could have ever done. The units did kind of suck back then, though. Not it sucked, but a lot of these units, the units have aged. A lot of these units have aged as well. But, yeah, like I said, just it, when this first came out, this was the, one of the best, craziest things Doken's ever done. Uh, back in, what, 2018, I remember when this came out for JP. I was like, what the world are they doing? I gotta go back and see my reaction with that. I like watching those old videos and being like, what the world did I say back then? But yeah, um, all these units have gotten easy A's, Awakenings, just gotten easy A's, etc., etc. But, yeah, I'm gonna go over the list of which ones you should get. Um, Golden Freeze, I definitely, yes, he is really, he's a, still a useful unit. I use him to a battle road. Maybe he'll be on Red Zone. Like I say, if you're just starting out the game, you're not worrying about that. It's more just for like newer players. Just trying to get a fresh new unit. Golden Freeze is worth it. He's an amazing unit. So, Junior, not really, if you're just unless you're using, using a sale. TB, I can't come in clutch with some Super Battle Road, so maybe, but I doubt it though. But if you want to try to get him, maybe. Dispel, unfortunately, he is, he's not really runnable. Same thing goes for Bola. They're good. I mean, Dispel, a good idea, but not as you execute it really well. Same thing goes for Bola. She's just a support unit. I've seen her easy A. Don't do it. Great Vegeta, no, he's use, u useless unit. Um, 17 isn't that bad. You're going to probably use other androids, but he's not a bad unit to get. Khalifa, I want to say now she's starting to age up a little bit, though, so I'll probably say don't get her. Same thing for Goku, if you aged. Vegeta, I want to say he's decent, but he's kind of aged. Same thing for Goku, he's decent. Um, not a bad unit. If you're like a certain realm of gods, you're not going to probably use any of these units, though. I mean, no, actually, he's got Goku. I forgot. He actually is a really good unit. He's solid. I say you can probably pick him up. He's actually pretty solid. 
Like I said, these, these, these Vegeta and Goku, they're not bad, but I don't really see myself using them, so I'll probably say just don't do it. Trunks and Maya, they just got the easy A. They're actually pretty decent, though, so I'll say maybe you could probably pick them up. Goten, unfortunately, nah. Boo's actually really good. He's helped me out a few times easy A's. Boo and Kalo, not that bad either. Tech Weez actually is a pretty solid unit, but probably I'll say nah. Corley, no. This cooler can cook a little bit, though, but there's other coolers in the game. Janembu, yes, he's a definitely, yes, he's he's amazing. He's good. And other people are like, oh, yeah, Red Zone, but, I mean, if you're just starting out for a villain team, he can help you out. He's actually really good. Trunks, he, he's, he can, he can put into some work. His pass is actually pretty decent. So I'd probably say no, though. This Trunks, no, he just sucks at this point. His easy is horrible. Toa, we got so many Toas a year. We got so many other units, but I think she's aged now at this point, though, so I'd probably say not. Bola isn't that bad for some good support, but you're probably not going to use her as much, so I'll probably say nah. Vegito, I want to say he's okay, but nah. Raditz, no. Kyle can go, could probably say you could probably use him as well. But no, he's just got his age. He's bad. Um, Bardock, eh, okay. Nothing. I'll say probably not. Vegeta can do some damage, but he's just a nuke, so I'll probably say you're not going to probably use him as much. Vados is amazing. She's still, again, probably not like, oh my god, the best unit, though, but she can pull out some good, really good support. Uh, Whis, he's actually pretty good. Him and the Tech Weeks are actually pretty similar. They're actually both pretty well, though. So, yeah, my definitely answer is probably yes for Vados. If we have, like, a unit for 16, we have some Keflas, some Kel Kleflas. They probably need to put them on here, though. That'd be a really good hit. Again, they put just some of these old OP units on here anyway. I mean, who cares if you give them for free? I mean, don't give these guys that for free. And these guys have been in the game for years. But, yeah, like I said, put some new units on here. Um, Selza, okay, nothing crazy. Paragus and Broly, no. You no, you no. She's actually really good. For Super, she's actually really, really good with Super Battle Row. Maybe the LR Brienne, but I, I've used her. She actually is still really good. She's had saved my butt in Super Battle Row, so I'll probably say definitely yes in my opinion. It's just speaking on me. She's again debuffing again. Like I say, you probably just could use her for like with Brienne or as a cocoon if you're meaning that. But she's a it's good Super Battle Row killer. If you need some help, no, no. Same for Andrew 18, like the um the ADL one, decent. I probably say maybe skip it. Oh, yeah, you're definitely, yeah, you're actually still pretty good, but you're probably not going to be vulnerable on teams, but he's a good unit. Definitely, no, you're just trash. Ain't got Goku's okay, no. Demigra, nah. Oceanus, I would say yes, because the EZA seems decent, but she's a, a small update, so I'll probably say no. Whis, I want to say he's still good, though, but he just dodges a lot, but, I mean, her and, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Her and him on the same rotation actually can be, can be pretty decent, though, so I'll probably say yes and maybe. Gohan probably say not really anymore. He, I feel like he's just aged at this point. So he goes for GT. Sure, easy. It sucks. Topo wants to say he's starting to fall off. I think he's just dead at this point. Bardock, yeah, no. No. Like, all these units are just, yeah, no. 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 Maybe. She is a fighter's character, though. She only she always comes back once a year. No. I will say Vegeta's okay, but nothing. No. Hmm. McCowney can get you somewhere, but he just takes too I think he just takes too much damage. He's okay. So goes Vegeta, not really. Got Goku, like Ejo Goku. I think I've read, re, like, have redesigned them. Like, they're actually, not redesigned them, but I feel like they've have been, like, when they first came out, they're like, eh. But, I mean, their easy aids are, I feel like they're pretty solid. They're very, very similar. Pretty solid hard-hitting units. Um, oh, Pic oh yeah, Piccolo. He actually is good for World Tournament, though. A lot of people are like, oh, he sucks. Um, for World Tournament, I see a lot of people actually really use him, though. For me, um, I know you have a whole team of LRs. I know everybody's going to complain about that, etc., etc. But overall, though, for Piccolo, though, in my opinion, he actually has, for me, in my opinion, though, I run a full LR team. I run him on that team. Weirdly enough, I use him for World Tournament, and he, he can, you know, he can crit the whole entire team if you get from full crit, etc., etc., blah, 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 blah. But in general, though, he has helped me out in World Tournament. He's got me more points. Again, I was seeing my points. Even if I have a full LR team, I had a full 99 team. I put this pickle on that team. He helped me out a lot, though. I was getting, like, points, like, more higher than I ever was in World Tournament. So, I used a full LR team, like I said, 99, everything maxed out. I put him on the team just to add him. He helped me out a lot. Like, he helped me get so many points. I guess, you know, your team costs, higher team costs, the more points you get. The more LRs you fight, the more points you get because the bits off your team. You find ultimate LRs pretty much at this point. But I used him. He cooked that whole, like, world, world tournament for me. Like, that's whole tournament. He helped me out a lot. Like, he gave me, like, again, I just, I think it's just your team costs. Like, it's high enough, you know, you get more points, you know, find more LRs. But the faster you do it, the more points you get. And he was helping me out a lot, too. Like, he crit every single thing. And he... Gave me so many points. So, yeah, I think he's a definitely worth the unit. Though. We're just, not just for World Tournament, but, I mean, if you maybe have a clutch unit, if you're just looking for a Piccolo, maybe, on your team. But, in general, though, honestly, i say he's he's a good unit, honestly. i say to pick him, in my opinion. Um, if you're just starting out World Tournament, you need AoE. There you go. 
Um, God Goku, like I said, he's decent. Uh, Bardock, no. Kale, I want to say it's like Khalifa's age a little bit. That's why I say nah. Salsa, no. I think, I think he's age at this point. Something goes over to Bora, no, no. Yes, the ultimate child too. i He's he's okay. I think a few people use him in World Tournament, but I said probably not. I mean, he's okay, but like I said, nah. I'd probably just say no, honestly. Trunks, no. Where is it just orb chaining a lot? So I'd probably say no. Mira, no. I think he just sucks at this point. I think he's age is aged out. You suck. You're still amazing. I think you're still pretty good, though. I do know those don't see a lot of people use him. Jesse is a really good support unit. Vegeta, probably no. Kefla, maybe if aged a little bit, but I'd probably say not really at this point in time. Vegeta's just a nuker, no. No. No, you need to use a barely badly. So, from my, in my opinion, honestly, I would go for seven. If you're going like for all seven, like all seven, yes, yes, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll probably say go for those. Yeah, one. In my opinion, for the best units, I say one. Those units will give you a lot of good value in the game. Like, they will help you out. You will be going pretty strong. One. Okay, this get guys out for free. Like, they're good. Yeah, one. Two. Yeah, three, four. Five. Six. I think, yeah, I said one. Two. Three, four. I said five, six. Who was seven? I can't remember who seven was. I think I said seven was maybe Ant Weiss or Tech Weiss. Either one. Or Trunks and Mai. Yeah, those are pretty much all my recommendations, honestly. Yeah, one. But if you're just going for like the regular five, like me, one. I mean, because if you again, if you're trying to do like your account power level, you can get like SSRs and everything. So, like extra SSRs, so you can increase it. But honestly, I don't need any of these units, honestly. So I'll, I'll just usually get some, you know, extra units as an SSR just to level grind them. Just see, having for, I like to have them for collection purposes because um, like Golden Freeze again, maybe not useful, but I mean, hey, he might be useful in easy area. Uh, pretty much like easy area in the future. Like these guys, these SSRs could probably help you out a lot though. Like these are units you could probably use just thinking about that. Like that's actually pretty useful to think about. Like these SSRs may suck nowadays in these harder events, but in these older events like easy areas, all these older events that just, you know, don't take that as much damage. I say like these SSR, like Golden Fruits SSR is gonna do good. Then it goes for Khalifa and like Goku and Whis and stuff like that. So yeah, for my first five units, I say like one, two, Three, four, five. I think that's a pretty good spot. Spot. Yeah, like I said, um, these are just really easy to get and stuff like that, though. Like I said, in the like I said, but yeah, recommendations are one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I think I said seven front. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why one of those two? Whichever one, though, honestly. But yeah, though. But yeah, it's pretty much all my recommendations. I'll probably get just in the video here. Or yeah, we're bringing it, actually. We're bringing it. Um, but yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I said, we're not bringing that much, though, because you're going to tie to the Battlefield of Diva, you know, Peppy Gallus. And you're pretty much just tied to that team. So, so I'm like, yeah, I mean, you're going to kind of be restricted a lot. So, so I'm like, yeah, maybe pick like somebody else. But. Or the gods, they're decent, I guess, but I say probably not though. But yeah, but yeah. But below are all my recommendations. What do you guys think? Of course, if you have recommendations, you can comment below. If you have ideas, you can comment below, etc., etc. Again, put your opinions out there. If you, again, you don't have to be silent. You can just say what you want to. People say it all the time in my videos. <laughs> I don't mind. But yeah, see you guys later. Though, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Great life. I'll go to the end. Make sure you stay safe. Wash hands. Go bust. All we've going out. Put on a mask. On toilet paper. If you really do, give us if you can. Go outside. Just guys. Same company. Check them out from the Discord. Also, if you're aware, guys are awesome. What you guys think about all this info? Though, of course, like just hit it again. Very simple. Very easy. Like I said though today. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. It's all pretty much our recommendations. Pickle is gonna be good for what tournament. That Gon's gonna be good for support. Same goes for Vados. We Golden Frieza. Like I said, like I said, even in the future for these SSRs, they might like suck in like these old events, like these new, I mean, these new events that might suck, but all these old units can be probably some very good support. Can probably hit you hard, help you out, get some good, um, you know, support in there and stuff like that for these easy areas. Think about that a little bit. Like level go ahead and get your account power level up. Even if you don't care about that, like I said, starting out in the game, these easiest areas, you can probably use some of these SSRs 
even if you like, you know, even if they were like, oh yeah, sorry, you can't use SSR. I think for easy areas that might count too. I think you can't use the SSRs. The TRs are on the same team. But if they can do that though, I mean, who's to say you can't try? Like, get a little creative in the game. That's what I'm saying. Like, just you know, if they can't use them in easy areas, um, like I said, um, even if you can, like I said, use them in easy areas, like the same SSRs unit, whatever. If I mean, though, honestly, I say just try to go for it. If you can, um, yeah, like, yeah. That's all I got pretty much to say. I feel like I said everything I pretty much needed to say. But yeah, though, see you guys there, though, you know. Peace out.